Hey guys, I hope you're having a really good morning. So today is Tuesday, uh, April 28th. Uh, I had a really good time yesterday playing Don't Wake Mr. Dinger. Unfortunately, girls, you woke him up quite a bit. And so it's a good thing he didn't pop on and understand how much you were torturing him. Okay, we will be able to play some games like that again. Hopefully we can play it in the classroom someday. And then you'll be able to understand how startling it is. Because for me, I don't know if you noticed, I kind of screamed every time it popped up. Several of you guys need to finish. I'm going to be looking at the um, site here. Hopefully you're watching the videos every day because that'll help explain what maybe my words don't explain as well. Some of you need to continue and work on the Colombian Exchange entries on your Google sites. What I need you to guys, you guys to start doing is putting in the title of that section, make um, a title block just like I did here. All you have to do is insert text and then create it. When the text is there, click on title if it was normal, and that'll show you how to do that. But then if you type in Colombian Exchange and then you put your information down below, that would make it very useful, easy for you to follow. Um, information is not one sentence. If that's what you did, you're going to need to go back because these bullet points were expressed to be used on that. They were right up here. I said, please use these bullet points as a springboard to your writing on that page. So you needed to read through those and then compare that to those videos and put the information onto that page. So make sure that it's detailed. We don't want to pick up bad habits. We want to be, as we're doing this and we're working from home, we still need that rigor and that intensity, okay? Because it's the same here. I'm trying to really make assignments for you that are worthwhile for you to do. And so you guys need to put that little bit of oomph back into it, okay? So these are some of the things that, that were from yesterday's work that if you did not do that, you need to go back and do that. Um, so today's work is listed below here. Read. For reading today, you're going to read Wonderopolis. You can still read your regular book because I really feel like when you read through it, um, you stick with it. And so do that also, log that also. But your assignment today is to read the Wonderopolis entry. And you can click there on the blue and you will get to it. And then for social studies, you're going to also watch the video that is there called the 13 American Colonies. And then there's a game for you to play and it's going to practice. It's going to tell you facts about the colonies. It's on Mr. Nussbaum's site. And what it is, is there's some questions down below an interactive map. And it, the questions you will be able to answer when you go through the, the game that's being played. And then you're going to have the ability to make your own map if you click on that site there. That's the map of the 13 original colonies. This is important because Tuesday and Wednesday, your assignments are going to be revolving around the 13 colonies. On your American history page, ultimately by the end of Wednesday or Thursday, you're going to need to have a fast fact about every one of the 13 colonies. They were completely different. Like there were, was an area where the Puritans were. There were farming communities. There were communities that were more of um, where they created things. And so you're going to need to look and see what was the different tones in each of the different colonies. And so thinking about if you were to open up something in uh, like a hotel in the early Americas, why would someone want to come to your hotel? Why would they want to settle in your colony? So as you go through this, be thinking about a fact and be thinking about which colony you would like to cover. Now on this, I'm going to try to, since there's only 12 of you, that there should be one colony per person. Some of you are doing your work together and I don't mind that, but I want you not always to be doing your work together either. Okay, so then down below here, it says on your American history page for Tuesday and Wednesday, you're going to be working on those 13 facts. For math, two more of the assessments have been assigned. This one, um, these are on de decimals and on geometry. So you need to make sure that you're logging on here on Splash Learn. You click on that and it has a login. You need that code that was up above. Feel free to go back up there if you need to do that and then log in. I think there's only a couple people that have not logged in. Uh, but it gives me an idea of where you're going to need to continue to practice because this is assessing your skills. So all of this work should be done on your own, please. And then the last one there is for Spanish. Mrs. Massey really wants you logging into the um, information that she's posted. We have a specials click 
the link up above. Um, those are posted almost every week, uh, so you can you should be able to find that. Okay, so if you guys have any questions or if there is a link that doesn't work, the only way I'm going to know that is if you end up texting me or calling me and letting me know. It doesn't bother me in the least. And so if you do that, it's actually extremely helpful. So I'm here to help you. If um, tomorrow morning I'm going to uh, work with Griffin, we need to get on to that um, on the Splash Learn. So I will be in contact with you. And other than that, if you need me, definitely give me a call. I'm here. I'm usually working on tomorrow's lessons during the day. So that's about it. All right. I hope you have a great day. And it's supposed to be yucky tomorrow because I'm doing this on Monday night. So hopefully it won't be so bad. Thanks. It was fun um, playing the game today. Bye.